eternal glory. This is a steel cage match. There are no count outs, no disqualifications, no pinfalls, no submissions. The only way to win is by escaping the cage via the door or over the top of the cage and to the floor. Making his way towards the ring at this time, the leader of the new gen, hailing from the city of York. Winning tonight, 172 pounds, he is the golden boy, Miles Keeble! Is this the night that the golden boy becomes the man here in New Generation Wrestling. Look at the sight of that imposing steel cage. That is the battlefield into which Miles Kamen is now entering. Well, Miles Kamen might just be exactly where Nathan Cruz wants him. But don't you forget, Miles Kamen, an incredibly talented young man for all of his faults as a person and as a wrestler. He is very, very talented within those ropes and today within those blue bars. This could just be the event that he has been waiting for to cement his place as the next top guy of NGW. Nathan Cruz was one of the earliest to spot the talent of Miles Kamen. He saw him as kind of a younger brother, he was a mentor to Kamen until Kamen decided that he was better than Cruz, better than everyone. that Nathan Cruz has had early in his career, the, the prima donna, an egotistical young man who believed that he was due to be the man on top. And who does that sound like? Oh, it sure sounds like the man that he is ready to face tonight. Nathan Cruz has had so many monikers to his name, but these days, you might as well just call him Mr. NGW, because nobody represents what this brand means more than the man that's about to get in the cage to face Miles Kamen. All those other nicknames, still perfectly valid as well, the show stealer, he certainly is that. The professional, one of the top pros in this country, and of course nowadays teaming with Matt Myers in an aptly named duo, second to none. Who's of course, He's a grizzled veteran. He's wild-haired, he's wild-eyed, but he's one of the best that this country has produced. And I don't know if there's anybody that would be lining up to step into a cage with this man. But Miles Kamen, he just might have some other things in mind. It really is kind of a, a fairy tale, the story of Nathan Cruz. Grew up a young wrestling fan, and then in his team, the one with his best friend, Matt Myers, was able to be there at the very beginning of a newly formed wrestling company called New Generation Wrestling. He grew to become not just the best in NGW, but one of the best in the world. The message though from Miles Kamen is that even the greatest fairy tales have to come to an end. He believes Cruz's time has passed and that today, this moment belongs to the Golden Boy. We just saw Nathan Cruz slam the door as the bell rings here in our main event. And Miles came in maybe looking to take that top spot, but he will have to do just that. 
take it from Nathan Cruz because he is not willing to go quietly into the night as Miles Kamen tries to escape just as the bell rings. Yeah, Kamen just trying to get out of there as quickly as he can. I think when Cruz did slam that door shut, the reality dawned on Kamen that he's kind of stuck in there. The door opening, you can get out through the door, but obviously you need to incapacitate your opponent to do that. Cruz not letting Kamen go anywhere. Just to recap for anyone who was not paying attention to Stevie Aaron, there's no pinfalls, no submissions. You've got to either escape through the door or over the top. Both feet must hit the floor before you win this steel cage match as Cruz knocks down Kamen. Despite all the big talk we heard in our pre-match video package, Miles Kamen seems to have zero desire to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Nathan Cruz, looking for the quick escape, but getting not so lucky. For Cruz, this isn't just about proving that he's still the absolute best here in NGW. It is about punishing this man, Miles Kamen, and the group he has led in new gen. Cruz will enjoy the fact that they're locked in a cage. He can take his time. He can deliver as much of a beating to Miles Kamen as he wants to. But the, the dilemma for Cruz here, I think, is hubris. If he's so intent on revenge, so intent on delivering a beating to Kamen, he may overlook the fact that Kamen really is the real deal. Kamen could fight back and could steal the win from him here. Well, the win is the operative word here because this match is still a match. It is a match to be won. And when will Miles Kamen have enough punishment in Nathan Cruz's mind that he will then focus on trying to win this match by escaping? It will, the time will tell whether his number one priority is dealing damage and punishment to Miles Kamen or whether it will be winning this match. We've already seen what Miles Kamen is focused on. He wants to win. He wants to make his name on this night. But is Nathan Cruz going to feel the same way? Cruz just tried to send Kamen face first into the steel. Kamen now having blocked that, putting the boot in here. So Nathan Cruz, there's no doubt whatsoever that Kamen is a very well put together young athlete. Body slam, we've seen him beat some of the best in NGW, he has earned his place in this main event, whatever you might think of him as a person, is a very apt way to headline the biggest show in NGW history, the old guard against the new. This match settling it right in now. Miles Kamen getting thrown hard into the turnbuckle. Nathan Cruz now reveling in what he's finally being allowed to do to Miles Kamen. Yeah, Cruz, look at him sending Kamen again and again into that corner, not releasing him. Finally, he does, and Kamen just bouncing off that turnbuckle in pain. You can see the agony just etched across the face now of the golden boy. And how incapacitating your opponent will be. The strategy, trying to take out his ability to climb, will eliminate one of the key ways you can win this match. Strikes to the back earlier we seen thrown into the turnbuckle may just make it that much more difficult for Miles Kamen to climb over this cage and drop down to the floor below. A series of uppercuts there as well from Cruz and part of the reason, hang on a second, wait, Cruz has him up. Cruz might look for the, the show stolen here. Now Kamen was able to wriggle out the back door, get sent to the ropes, able to get the boots up. Kamen dodging a bullet. And then sitting out with a falcon arrow. I was going to say, though, just before that happened, that another advantage from Cruz's perspective of having this steel cage is not just to keep Miles Kamen in, but to keep the rest of New Gen out. We know that Reese, Rogan, Vusik, all of them here in the Connex in Live Arena tonight. And Cruz, obviously, with a vested interest in keeping them far away from the leader of their group. Miles Kamen himself, of course, has a very, very strong mean streak. He may have been looking to escape early, but he's more than capable of deliver delivering damage inside this steel cage. But Nathan Cruz now has the advantage. Just throwing him from pillar to post here, from wall to wall. They are enclosed in steel. Are Cruz and Kamen. Kamen again gonna go into the wall of the cage. 
Cruz. If he didn't already believe in it, I'm sure he did. Gaining in confidence, gaining in belief with every passing moment that he can put away the challenge of this young pretender. Now, some of our fans may be more familiar with a chain link steel cage as is seen in other promotions. This cage is not like that. You think of how painful it would be to be thrown into a chain link fence. This is one of the most unforgiving structures in pro wrestling. The solid steel of these blue bars will only yield bad results for the two men inside as now Nathan Cruz is sticking the arms through the holes. Oh my goodness, I can't even bear to imagine the pain that would go through my... Oh my God, Miles Kamen in this moment. Yeah, Kamen wasn't able to get his arms up, obviously, to defend himself. They were caught between those bars and all of the impact of that drop kick right into the chest of the golden boy. Now Cruz, again, well, it looks like Miles was about to say he needs to be careful. He doesn't focus too much on beating up Kamen. He has turned his attention to trying to get out of the ring, but Kamen's going to follow him up. Kamen, put him by the tights. Throws him back into the ring. Cruz lands hard, and now Kamen. Kamen could get out of here if he wants to. I think maybe Kamen's decided that while he's up there, well, he's torn, I think. Does he go to try and get the win, or does he do more damage to Cruz? He sees Cruz is getting up. I think that makes a decision for him. Here comes Kamen, and Kamen off the top. Cruz taken down. That flipping neck breaker from Miles Kamen. Very impressive. I think he thought that he needed to incapacitate his opponent even more if he was going to have a chance of escape. And now you see him just glancing down, checking that Cruz is staying down. And he is. Cruz is motionless. Kamen going to climb over the top. Could be a triumphant moment in this young man's career. Cruz is starting to stir though. Cayman's gonna have to be quick about it if he wants to get out of here. We're seeing Cayman clutching his back, clutching his jaw. Starting to seem like the damage done to him by Nathan Cruz is taking its toll. Yeah, Cruz has got the foot on, oh my. Look, Cayman dropped between the legs on that top rope. It's about as uncomfortable a landing as you could possibly expect here in this steel cage match. Yeah, the, the prospects of there being any more Golden Boys, I think, have just been significantly diminished. I think you might just be right. What's that? Hang on. Cayman's got... He's, he's got, got something. I think that's the necklace he was wearing on his way to the ring. There's no disqualification in a steel cage match. If he has got a weapon here, he's able to use it. He's got... Yeah, he has. He's, it's wrapped around his fist. Cruz, I think, can... Cruz can see, oh no, he didn't see it. He didn't see it until it was too late and Cruz may have been knocked out. Well, Cruz is moving, but he certainly felt the force of that one. Cruz is dazed. He may not know where exactly he is. And now's as good a time for Miles came to lay in the punishment. This may be the best opportunity he has to string together offense against Nathan Cruz. Cayman, as much as priority number one, obviously, is to win the match, he would also like to humiliate Nathan Cruz, to, to make an example of him, to prove that NGW is now run by new gen. Cayman's going to send Cruz into the, the side of the cage. And Cruz just crumpling down to the canvas underneath that bottom rope. Cruz has not been the same since he was hit in the face with that necklace. Cruz is barely conscious. What is that now? Look at this from Cayman. Cayman putting the head of Cruz through those bars, choking him out on one of the rungs of that cage. There's nothing you can do. Everything is legal in this steel cage match. As deplorable as it might be, it's all legal. Did you see the chilling, intense glare there from Miles Cayman? Cayman's mind seems to have gone to a different place. Gonna try and send Cruz into the wall again, and he's successful in doing so. Nathan Cruz just uh, landing in a heap. I think Tempest. I think I think Cayman has this at his mercy now. He can win this whenever he wants. I was about to say Miles Cayman now 
maybe getting a little distracted with wanting to punish Nathan Cruz, wanting to show why New Gen is the, the group to beat around here. He could win this match in this moment if he wanted to, but he wants to punish Nathan Cruz as he does with that suplex. Uh, textbook delivery of the vertical suplex from Miles Kamen. But you're right, Kamen could, he could choose to leave. Finally, I think that is what he's gonna do. But Kamen's not gonna go through the door, he's gonna climb over the top the most spectacular way, the most impactful way to make a statement at the expense of his opponent. We must not yet forget the damage done to Miles Kamen, struggling to get over the cage wall. And Cruz has got the third. It's a long way up and a long way back down. Gives your opponent quite a time to recover. If they got anything left in the tank, Kamen trying to take those last reserves away from Cruz, and that might do it. Kamen seems almost happy that Cruz cut him off there kept him from going over the cage wall because now it means that he gets to inflict even more damage to Nathan Cruz and now the door opens. Yeah, Cayman just gesturing over to the official to open the door. He is about to announce himself as the man here in NGW. Just got to walk down these steps and it's over. He's, he's hesitating. Why is he hesitating? Look at that smile. Look, Cayman's shutting the door. Now that's a mistake. Cayman is going back in here, obviously to inflict more damage. He had a chance to win it. And in the end, the sadistic side of his character forcing him to, what, to spurn that chance in favor of doing more damage. Well, he doesn't want to just win this match. He wants to make a statement. He wants to make a statement at the behest of Mr. NGW himself, Nathan Cruz. He's having no such trouble doing so right now. But in the long run, that, that choice may come back to haunt him. There is a, something of a hush that has fallen over some of the 1,000 plus fans here. Oh wait, Codebreaker! The Codebreaker from Cruz! Perfectly executed catching Cayman as he comes off the ropes. Now momentum may be shifting. This is the best chance that Cruz has had since being nailed in the face with that necklace. Can he finally mount that comeback necessary to win this cage match and put Cayman down? My word, how much must Cayman now be regretting that choice to slam the door shut and to keep the fight going? Charges at Cruz again though. Cruz fends him off and now Cruz with a clothesline takes down Cayman. Cruz is going to send Cayman into the steel from one side of the ring to the other. Miles Cayman. Cayman going to get catapulted again into the wall of the cage. Nathan Cruz does not take this disrespect lightfully. He wants to win He's this match. Up. He's got him up, Tempest. Look. The show stolen from Nathan Cruz. And in a normal match, Cruz could pin him here. But this isn't a normal match, there's no pinfalls. He's got to get out of the cage. Cruz is just getting his bearings back. He's been sent to that cage plenty of times in this match as well. He's taken a lot of damage. Realizing where he is, he's in the corner. He's got to climb up and over. And point proven at that point. He will have shown that the old guard, the NGW originals, still have what it takes to be at the top here. He's got one leg over. Now wait, oh. look who's here. Look who's here. Reese and Rogan. Reese and Rogan hovering menacingly beneath Nathan Cruz. Cruz can't go down there. He can't feed himself to one of the most dangerous tag teams in the country. And while he was thinking about it, Cayman's joining him up there. Cayman's joining him. Oh, this is so dangerous. Cayman, I don't know what Cayman's trying to do. He's trying to prevent Cruz from going down. There's a, a fight going on, what, 15 feet in the air here. Yeah, you're right, dangerous is the word, and Cayman finding out how dangerous. Nathan Cruz still perched atop this cage. 
Reese and Rogan, like a couple of hyenas down at the bottom. Well, Cruz can't go out that way. But Cruz looking around, staring at the NGW fans as far as the eye can see. Nathan Cruz, I think, has decided what he's going to do from the top of the steel cage. Cruz with the flying headbutt right into the heart of the Golden Boy. Both men are down, but our fans are on their feet for this steel cage match, our main event here at Eternal Glory. That is what's at stake here. It's not just a name. These men are fighting for eternal glory. They want to be the men to lead this company into this next generation. Will it be new gen? Will it be the NGW originals? And now the door being closed on Nathan Cruz and on the other side a chair being offered to Miles Kamen. Yeah, look at this on one side, Rogan closing the door on the other, Reese passing the passing that chair. That bright green chair into the hands of New Gen's leader who smashes it across the spine of Nathan Cruz. Kame is going to do it again. It's all legal. It's all legal, but it's a damn shame. You'd hope that a steel cage match like this would eliminate the outside interference, but there's only so much that they can do when everything is legal and the new generation, new gen, has so much in their bag of tricks. Well, look, you can only eliminate interference if, if new gen had some integrity, if Miles came and had any integrity, and unfortunately that ship has long since sailed. Now what, he's barking instructions there at Reese and Rogan was was Cayman. What are they doing? They're trying to bind Nathan Cruz to the cage. Hold his arms through the, the holes. Yeah, that, yeah, you're right, Cruz. Trying to kick away at the fingers there of Reese and Rogan, but Cayman gonna torture Nathan Cruz here. Look at him, shouting in the face. Look at the demeaning behavior of New Gen towards Cruz. Disrespect from Cayman. Fortunately, Cruz is at their mercy right now. He's outnumbered. Oh, look, oh look. no! Right between the legs from Nathan Cruz to Miles Cayman. I shouldn't laugh, but it was, it was happy. I was happy to see it. Reese now trying to get Cayman out of there. Cayman in some pain. Rogan still holding onto the wrist of Nathan Cruz. Cruz can't get anywhere near to Cayman. Cayman edging towards victory, but no, Cruz breaks free. Cruz breaks free. Cayman brought back in here in a cross face. The cross face from Nathan Cruz. There's no submission, but Cruz can inflict as much pain here on Miles Cayman as he wants. It's locked in deep. The hands are right across the eyes. Miles Cayman cannot see where he is, and Nathan Cruz rolls through. He's got him in the center of the ring. Yeah, Cayman trying what he can to, to just reduce the pressure on his neck here. We tap it out. It doesn't matter. You can't tap out. The Reese, officials though, have been disposed of. Yeah, that's a, a euphemism to put it mildly. It's Reese just shoving them away, and then Cruz had to strike Reese. Cruz going to get out of here. But oh my! Reese! Reese! Slamming the door into the skull of Nathan Cruz. Nathan Cruz might be out cold here. He's grabbing his head, but one can only imagine the damage done by those unforgiving steel bars. And now a table's being introduced, my goodness. There is no low to which New Gen will not stoop. Yeah, that table being slid into the ring. And again, so much for the steel cage keeping New Gen out of this. Well, Cayman is down. Nathan Cruz is down. Our main event here of eternal glory. On a knife edge, and look who's here. Colossus is back. Colossus has had his problems with Reese and Rogan, not least in the Beast Mode Battle Royal earlier on. And Colossus is coming to level things up. We didn't even know that Colossus was in the building tonight. And he is playing an incredible factor in our main event. He has single-handedly 
neutralize the threat of Reese and Rogan and we're back down to Cruz and Cayman the way it was meant to be. But now a table has been introduced into this match. A table that Miles Cayman appears ready to try and utilize to help him win this match. But does he have the wherewithal at this point to set up a table and use it to his advantage? Well, I'll tell you this much, I think he's got more wherewithal than Nathan Cruz does after Cruz was smashed in the head with that door of the cage. That might be the critical advantage that Miles Cayman needs. Cayman setting up the table. Is he setting up Nathan Cruz for a historic defeat? These precious moments, of course. I don't know how much recovery Nathan Cruz will be able to manage during this time, but he needs every bit of help that he can get right now. And Cayman just deciding where to position that table, presumably to do the most damage possible to Nathan Cruz. Now trying to drag his one-time mentor towards that furniture that he has set up in the middle of the ring. Look at him, mockingly just kicking away there at Cruz. Came and putting the, the table diagonally across the center of the ring. He's relishing in this now. He knows what it means if he's able to win this match and leave Nathan Cruz laying, but Nathan Cruz will not go quietly. Yeah, Cruz, he can't have much left. He can barely have anything left, but he's certainly got his pride. And Cruz, not gonna give that up without a fight. Battling against the odds. He's had to battle against Reese and Rogan as well. He's still fighting here, is Cruz. Cayman, oh Cayman might have it, oh Cayman no. Wait a second, Cruz has him on the shoulders. Cruz has him on the shoulders. Came in escapes. And Cruz gets sent again. How many times is that that Nathan Cruz has been sent into the wall of the cage? I've lost count. And you think about how dangerous repeated head injuries, repeated blows to the head and neck and shoulder areas will be when they amount over the course of a, of a match like this. How can he possibly hope to get a win by climbing over the cage or having the wherewithal to open the cage door to win this match. How either of these men, oh, and now we're starting to see a bit of blood trickle down the face of Nathan Cruz. Yeah, and I don't think Miles Kamen cares one bit because Kamen thinks he's on the path to victory. Cruz, as you say, with blood coming out of a, a wound on his face there. Kamen, meanwhile, is all the way at the top of the cre at the top of the cage. Cruz barely moving. Cayman is halfway over the top here, halfway to writing his name in the history books of the biggest show that NGW has ever put on in the city of Hull. He's got both legs over. He's starting to climb down, but Nathan Cruz isn't going to let it happen. Yeah, it's desperation now, though. It's desperation now for Cruz because Cayman is already over the top. If Cayman drops to the floor, he's won this. What's he thinking here? He can't, he can't do that. Cruz, I think it's, he's got Cayman. Cayman's legs dangling. He's being held up there by his head and neck. Again, if he drops, he'd win. Cruz knows that. Cruz has to get Cayman back over the top of that cage. He's got one leg over and back again. And Cruz. Still just trying to drag Cayman over the top. They are brewing in a very precarious spot. This is a career shortening kind of match potentially inside the steel cage. Cayman is, yeah, one leg back over the top now. He's had to position himself there so he can balance in order to, to strike Cruz. You think about the price you have to pay, even if you dropped to the floor from this side, you'd win the match, but risk injury. These men are fighting in such a precarious, dangerous position, and it's gonna be a bad landing for one of them, no matter which way it goes. That yeah, is a fight unlike any that either of these two have ever been in before. Miles Kamen has talked the talk. It is time to walk the walk against Nathan Cruz. 
Kamen now all the way back inside the ring. It's Cruz who's got one leg over the top. Something of a, a reverse of a fortunes here. They're trading strikes. Miles Kamen may have the balance advantage here. But Nathan Cruz closer to victory. Hang on, Kamen. Kamen just trying to trying to drag Cruz back in. Look, don't, oh, no, don't tell me. Hang on. Hang on now. He, he's looking down at that at that wooden table. Don't tell me Miles Kamen. Don't tell me Kamen is gonna superplex Nathan Cruz over the top of the cage through the table for goodness sake. That's certainly what he's trying to do, but Nathan Cruz holding on to the top of the cage, not letting it happen. Nathan Cruz having a fight for his life here against Cayman. On a headbutt from Cruz, staggers him. Oh, Cruz, Cruz looking around. Nathan Cruz has decided what he's going to do to Miles Cayman. A kiss on the cheek of his former mentee, and look, Cayman, Cayman. Came in off the top of the cage and right through the table. And Nathan Cruz, he's lowering. There's no one in his way. Cruz. Nathan Cruz has won the main event of Eternal Glory. The winner of the Steel Cage match, Nathan Cruz. The professional has stolen the show against a young prima donna, Nathan Cruz. Cruz, he's second to none as he gets it done at eternal glory. And you can take absolutely nothing away from the performance of Miles Kamen. He may have had men in his corner. He may have been underhanded, but he took absolutely everything that Nathan Cruz had to dish out. He did everything in his power to try and cement his name here in Eternal Glory, but it would not be on this night. His day may just come, but it will not come at the behest of Nathan Cruz. It is a night that will live in the memories of the 1,000 plus fans who are here forevermore. Nathan Cruz secures history. He secures his spot in history. He secures eternal glory in Hull. And here comes the NGW champion. I can think of absolutely no better way to close out the biggest show in NGW's history than with these two men embracing on the stage, Matt Myers and Nathan Cruz. Well, what a night here in Hull for Tempest. This is Dave Bradshaw saying good night from eternal glory. The biggest event of the summer is coming to the whole City Hall on Friday, 28th of June, as New Generation Wrestling presents Ultimate Showdown, featuring all your favorite NGW stars. History will be made at this heart-pumping, all-action spectacular that the whole family will love. Get your tickets now at newgenwrestling.com or direct from the City Hall box office.